I, the peace of our blessed Lord be with you. Welcome to the last day of this month, the month of February 2024. It's a great privilege being here. For 29 days, the Lord has accompanied all of us. I bless God for the gift of your life, the gift of the family, the gift of your beautiful faith. We bless God together for having given us this privilege to see the end of this month. Friends, let's give reverence to our God and his word that has been offered us before the day ends, the month ends. Luke 16, 19 to 31. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in Lazarus every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus covered with souls and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and laid his souls. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, when he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away and Lazarus went by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things while Lazarus received bad things and now he's comforted here and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place so that those who want to go from here cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my, fa my family, for I have brought five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not come to this place also of torment, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophet, let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, But if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent gospel of the Lord. Friends, look at a man who could not help Ab Lazarus, who could not see him as a brother, insisting that he gets help from this same man, Lazarus, he couldn't help. First, he said, send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger to wet my tongue. Second, he asked, send Lazarus to my family. And he insisted that Abraham should send somebody. How wicked men can be. That's why the first reading of today Jeremiah says, curse be the man who puts his trust in other man. Dear friends, we can't be closing our eyes to the needy. But that is not what I want to reflect on now. A time will come when you will read this gospel. But in the context of the reading of yesterday, let me draw your attention to something. Yesterday I told you that Jesus said to his disciples, let us go to Jerusalem together. But there, I'll be handed over. I'll be, cru I'll be persecuted. I'll be flogged. I'll be crucified. They are going to get up. It, it was only Jesus who was going to suffer. Then I told you in quoting 1 Peter 2.21 that Jesus, Peter says that Jesus has left us example that we should follow in his steps. The example Jesus has left us was the example of suffering so that we have to suffer as Christ suffered because anybody who is able to go through suffering without abandoning the faith when he or she dies will not go through purgatory, will be taken straight to heaven. This is not my teaching. It is what the church and the Holy Scripture teaches us. What is purgatory? The church teaches us that purgatory is the state of purification. When we have died, Catechism of the Catholic Church, Article 14, um, 1472 teaches us that we have to endure purgatory. Those who have not been able to um, do penance for all their sins, there will be a need for us to be purified. Why will we be cleansed before going to heaven? Because there is nothing impure that can go before God's presence. Revelations 21, 27. Here we read in Revelations 21, 22, 23. In the new Jerusalem, that is paradise, God's presence. We do not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are his temple. The city does not need the sun nor the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God gives us light. Jesus, the lamp, is the lamp in the new Jerusalem, in heaven, in paradise. The Revelations 21, 27, however, states, Nothing impure, nothing unclean will enter into Jerusalem. Nothing unclean will go to heaven. Nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful. But only those whose names are written in the Lamb of the Book. That is why Holy Church teaches us that before we can go to heaven, there should be purification of our sins for our sins. 
So go up there. I've written purgatory is a temporal purification for, for heaven. Anybody who is in purgatory will not go to hell. Purgatory is a state of purification before going to heaven. So we, we have a, the faith. Our faith teaches us that in the communion of saints, we have the saints in heaven, those in purgatory, and those of us on earth. We on earth are praying for those in purgatory that they will go to heaven. And when they have become saints, they will in turn pray for us. This teaching is not accepted by our brothers and sisters, the Protestants, surprisingly. <laughs> they, don't, they don't accept the teaching of purgatory. They say you can't even declare anybody saint. It's only God who declares somebody a saint. We understand, yes. It's not the Catholic Church who declares someone a saint. It is God. But these days, people die, whatever church they belong to, and their posters, people have written, oh, entry into glory, entry into heaven. If you can't declare somebody a saint and only God can declare somebody a saint, why is it that at the death of your pastors and church members, we, we, we put on our posters, glory, uh, entry into glory? Let allow God to declare that person that he's in heaven. Dearly beloved, when the Catholic Church teaches about canonization, it is a process, a process that takes years. For instance, Pierre Damien, when he died, it took 750 years before he was canonized. Pietro of Verona, when he died, it took 337 days. Saint Anthony of Padua, when he died, he was made a saint only three after 352 days. John Paul II of blessed memory. It took nine years for him to be declared a saint. It's a long process. It's a long process. But we know that in the church, they are martyrs. Martyrs are those who are killed for their faith. Some are beheaded. Some are they, they are killed. As it happened to Peter, Peter was crucified. Andrew was crucified. Paul was beheaded. These are martyrdom. People who shed their blood for Christ, they defend their faith. When these martyrs are killed, for them, they don't go through the process of canonization. Before somebody is declared a saint, the person will first be declared a servant of God, a venerable, then a blessed. Before he is declared a saint, to be given a universal veneration. But for the martyrs, those who are killed for their faith, whether they are beheaded, whatever death they go through, they don't go through all this canonization process. They are declared as martyrs. Friends, only Christians who suffer without abandoning the faith will not go through this process. They are declared, they are taken straight to God like Lazarus is taken straight to God without going through purification because what they suffer here on earth, the difficulties, their trials, their sorrows become a purification on earth. Let me explain. Any Christian who, whilst he or she is living, endures difficulties, pains, ails without abandoning the faith, when he or she dies, he or she will not go through any purification called purgatory. He will be taken straight to heaven. It is in Luke 16, 22. The time came when the beggar died. The angels carried him to Abraham's side. Pay attention. The rich man died. He was buried. Ask yourself, why was Lazarus not buried? Because the pains he went through when he was alive served as purification for him. And Abraham affirmed this in Luke 16, 25. Abraham told the rich man, remember that in your lifetime, you receive good things while Lazarus received bad things. Now he's comforted without purification, without purgatory. Dearly beloved, it is not every type of suffering, but only those who suffer for Christ. That is why St. Peter warns us in 1 Peter 4 15. If you suffer, you should not be as a thief or a murderer or any kind of criminal or even a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. 1 Peter 4 15 and 16. So don't say, Father Cecilia is saying that all of us who are suffering will not go through purgatory. No. If you go and steal and they beat you to death, you will go to hell because you may not even have confessed before dying. We are talking about those who are suffering for the sake of Christ. Those who are married and they are going through difficulties. Those who are single and they are going through challenges in life. Those who are working and they are, they are being maltreated. Whatever type of difficulty as a Christian you're going to list it, make a list. 
if you are able to go through these challenges of the Christian life, these difficulties, these space, these trials, these temptations, without being killed, without abandoning God, without abandoning the faith, friends, when you die, the sufferings you went through when you are alive will serve enough as your purgatory. You wouldn't go to purgatory because nobody suffers on earth as a Christian and go through purification in purgatory. No. Once you are able to go through your trials, difficulties, as Christ has stipulated, there is no need to go through purgatory. There will not be any need for purgatory. That is why the topic for today is there will not be purgatory. There will be no be purgatory for those who suffer without abandoning Christ. There will be no be there will not be purgatory for those who go through trial, difficulties, temptations without abandoning the faith. Revelations has told us nothing impure will enter the heavenly city. Not those who do shameful or deceitful things, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb of the, the Book of the Lamb. That is why we need purification. Dearly beloved, purgatory is a state of purification. Catechism of the Catholic Church insists, Article 14. 72. I pray that you are not confused by this message. But whatever difficulty, trial, problem you are going through, we ask for the grace to endure them so that after our death, our life here comes to an end. We may not need any purgatory, but be taken quickly to God's presence as Lazarus is taken into his presence. Now, may this year, Jesus, Anna, Okasachere, look and some petit dunsi and you know dunk no kope medio no bako. Lazarus ni si keni. Lazarus o hiye ni dana bobo ano de biye kuro tu tu no. O shishem pokura se biye ni aneng kifri si keni puno subu fomu kope di nensu enya. Krama ni ne beta fere ni kro. Emrebi bye. Lazarus su o se abofu peja ano ede no kwa bera munchen. Kese wan kase wo siye no. O peja ni ntema de no kwa abra hamon chen. Si ke nini di o wuyi wo siye no. Si ke nini mura mane no. Ano o kachira abra hamon chen. O mene ni su hun Lazarus wo jiran en chen. O biya wa mwa Lazarus. Ne nefye se wo kachira abra hamon se wo nsuma Lazarus. Enfane sanko ken su no fan kane techele mo. O be kachira abra hamon se wo nsuma Lazarus no unko ni fiye. E kiri mo nyo no. E ne wo kachira en siye nsuma no unko ufiye. Abra hanka oti wo oti asin anka abiti miya freno. Ama waba ufiye nwa be didi. Ini peti miye tri mwa onyuna wako pi ni wuda. Ya medishi ene mimpesi ya bechwe ya jine sisi ke nine tri mwa onyuna so. Ni mwa mwa yenche Lazarus na mani hunu hunu ye. Ene okaya santina abrofono kwa diye. Abraham yi si ke nina no se. Abraham ti asi wuhuna mani pi batens. Ene yema ya tayi ne tonu. Nesu usu mwe bamye. Iti samri wa chitire ne ure. Kristo ni biya obe kwa mani hunu mwa. Abra wati asi ena obe soma bamye. Se wupe on kwa hukoro ye. Awo huye pege turi biya asole kongkong chila ye se. E wose wati ye hon pipa ye hon ansani ya konyanko po mche. Jwane di isem, e di isem, e ti ye diyonu ba akunyi mwa diyonu so Revelations 21-27 se. A di ye biya ni hon a, e hon ti ye biti ya konyanko po mche. Inti uwa, e wose wate ye hon ansani wako soro. Pege turi nchile chile nye na anono. A di ye biya ni hon hon ti ye biti ya konyanko po mche. Ti jidi ni mi obe hu biya, wose wuko. Ya te ye hon ansani wabe nya mche. Se heaven, a di fi ni ho. Eti nipa enfamu se woye pop, woye bishop. Nipa biye ni wo tiasia. Wasi woye krunku ni ukura ube wo. Ne krunku ni beti medina kosura yeme bebi. Wadi wasi woye krunku ni ukura. Uwua. Wabe tene huwa san wako nya minche. Wasi heaven krunku ni yeme. Ye krunku ni yeme. Wumi se siye ni timi fi yeme heaven. Inti na wati ye huwa san ya benya meho. Nesu wabia wo huna mani. Wako suhe mu. Na wabe bam suhe neno wo mpu ni jidi wo mpu nya meno. Uwua. Wa unko aworo ye, wa dini beko nya menche, entempa. Nya mende shi ya, asori mu, ya wa ngutifu ni u moja dansi fuo. Moja dansi fuo nu wana wukungo mu, cha wunti, wukungo ma kristu wunjidi yenu. Se wu uwa, wa ye wu moja dansi fuo, wa mfa wa mfa, sa amre tintina wana ye ye wa ngutifu ni femu ni. Se ubiri uwa, asani ya befreno ngutini ni. Ya dene fa, enye mabe ene imu, Ibuwa eche infiye bebele kurechi. 
Utini bi and friend Pierre Damiano, o wuye, in fin shia, seven hundred and fifty six, a house song, ebio numin si e chini ye ni saint. John Paul the second, o wuye, nine years a chance and ye in Utini. Antoni of Padua, Saint Antonio, o wuye, three hundred and fifty two days a chi and san ye in Utini. And ye check, Nelson Moja dance a phone, ye o wuya, ni a ye wong. Ya ya kasu wa ye moja dance a phone, ye nchen, ye nchen nchen so kura, adintif si wo huna mania menya. Iti and man who allows us who we know we moja dance ni fita one day we unkunu we unkeniti oso na man who no pam ye it na man who no ayah hotel tia man ti di ayah kani na anise aso kung kung chere chere se ye tia se ni e huna mani ye koso he mu ye so he ni si ye bam ne ya ampunya mia e ya hotel tia ma ya yam kwa huru ye. Now, this year, any man who be oh, and Cobocro no, and won't show and show and say, Oh, me, who no money was him a co, me, and co, our rear baby, tea, Peter, who made the kind, a tea, nine mood dunum. Was this old mana mania, a mana manessa crom fro? If you suffer, you should not be, you should not suffer as a medrow thief. We did near now crom for name of who are who no man is a Christo ni, Anna, won't co our rear. Do go di boni bi mi o chi o na ya bo ye di wa ko 12 years ya o se and am so fu bi se mi mama ni huna mi hunu mi nkwa wo ye da bi e ya mani ya ye huna ma kristo ni ya so na ya ba mi ya mpu ye jidi iti na nen se ma tu jin se awo ru e bi ni ho there will be no purgatory there will be no purgatory for those who suffer and embrace the suffering and call on Christ to be with them look 22:29 Jesus Christ, I say, but I can't even see your phone. I say, money, money, matter, not see what we're supposed to do. Enti, obobo, I'm going to have mama. I'm going to share. I'm going to share a radio. Yeah, you bet me, you know. The man who knew me, I'm poor. A radio, I'm poor. You did any of it, bam. Then the day, I'm going to share a radio. I say, be an chenna wo freya ya. Yeah, the akwa is a lazo so. And then pa a radio the akwa niku kumu. Baby, I obeche chiri ya rest ni na wachi chiri lazo so weyi. Na medeshi ya, ya mani huna ye kumu, ya sopia ye kumu, si sumu bama debi, ene beye ahotie di, ahotie edi ya maye, ni anko awaru ye biya. There will be no pegatry for those who are able to deal and deal their sufferings without abandoning the faith. Asun juye nkamu yuna, amen.